it was really just hanging around shops and looking over people's shoulders and breaking a lot of stuff. I've done this on my car 45 times. I can just watch this YouTube, walk myself through it, and then bam, I'm done. Body work, fiberglass stuff, I'm not formally trained at all. There's like a, a bucket list item checked off to have my car displayed there. There's a lot of companies out there with deep pocket, but they're not in the car scene. So where did your your technical influence for just cars in general come from? Did, did you have somebody you looked up to? Um, I mean, of course, my father. He, you know, he's always been uh, around some kind of form of a motor and enjoying it. So I mean, that's where I definitely got, I would say, my skills from. You know, my uh, coordination in a sense. Like that's yeah, where yeah. I felt like the advantage that I had from sports rather than a lot of, um, you know, more extreme sports because the more extreme sports, it's not necessarily always eye hand coordination that makes you mm. greater, not great, but in stick and ball sports, that's usually what you have to rely on is your yeah. eye hand coordination. And I feel like that and helps brain. <laughs> tremendously with knowing where the hand, the shifter is, the wheel is, the e-brake is being able to use those things without even looking at them, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, like that's where I started building that foundation. And then it was really just hanging around shops and looking over people's shoulders and breaking a lot of stuff and yeah. not having any other way to get was. it done than to fit for it, figure it the fuck yeah. out. And when you're broke, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Die trying, I you guess. No, you really got to. It's just really what it is. You know, it's like, and it, it's, it's, it's became something that I've been able to apply all over my whole life. You know, mm. all of a sudden I'm doing tile in houses because I can I know how to just watch a YouTube video now I've done this on my car 45 times I can just watch this YouTube walk myself through it and then bam I'm done you know I'm like I certified for YouTube, YouTube University all the time yeah certified YouTube mechanic I yes, can get sir. stuff done if I can watch the video <laughs> oh yeah but before getting into this I mean like I said I couldn't even righty tighty lefty loosey correctly you know I was tightening the hell out of stuff before I break it loose so oh, God. it was really about a, just a lot of just trial and error and out of necessity needing mm. it to get done paying someone to get it done but not having the money to pay them correctly so they kind of half-ass it you know and then yeah. you see that and you're like you know what I could just half ass it that good. And then you start half ass yeah, it. Yeah, I always sudden, hated to rely on somebody. You start making, you start getting good. Like b body work, fiberglass stuff. I'm not formally trained at all. Like yeah. I have only stood in paint booths with people when they painted my car previously to watch them what they did. I've mm -hmm. watched YouTube videos. I've gotten, I've had some luck lo uh, recently with actually going and getting trained by the Finnish, Finnish Masters group. Oh, that's tight. Um, so that was really cool. They they brought me out of the facility, let me use their downdraft booth, sprayed my car, showed me how to properly set up a paint gun, how to properly mix things, yeah, yeah, why yeah. to use it here, how to the actual process of blocking, of using a guide coat, like oh, all God, these things. Dude, I that, think that was awesome. It was awesome, and I, I'm hoping at the next Camp Drift event that we're going to be able to get Larry from Finish Masters mm -hmm. to come out and do a class like that for us here and help us like. Okay, this is how you repair some body work, or this is how you use seam sealer to do this in a, on a drift car. You know, yeah, like yeah. there's so much stuff that you can do with it that you might not have thought that you can do with it. You know, he ought to take that out to some Import Alliance events. Yeah, you know, he set up a booth and some example stuff out there. I think that would work well. Yeah, for sure. But. So yeah, that's definitely one thing. One of the companies that I'm working with this year, I met I met them at PRI. So I was also very lucky this year. I was one of the only drift cars to get exhibited as a feature drift car actually in the building no at way. pri like in the hallways where you always see all the historic mm -hmm. race cars there was a couple other guys Derek madison um one of the chad i believe from up north chad anderson i think uh, yeah, yeah, BMW okay. or coyote i believe um he was in there as well in like the, the the lucas stadium area but i was actually like in the hallways of the main office like right in front of Dude, one of the doors so cool. it was really sick it was like a, a bucket list item oh yeah checked off to have my car displayed there showed there something that i built pretty much with my own hands like something to be proud of exactly yeah i was i was stoked on it um and it was a great selling point so you know those are also opportunities that you have to look for as a driver outside of drifting because if you ever really want to get that big sponsor might not come from the drifting world you know like pretty much know you need this stuff to have some fun yeah. so they don't want to give it to you, you i know? talked to, we talked about that a few episodes ago with wes like I, I was saying there's a lot of companies out there with deep pockets but they're not in the car scene yeah so it's he's he had gained a security company vortex security um to be his main title sponsor and that's 
the big logo on the side of his car, and that funds his majority of his uh, entire pro am program. That's awesome. So, but I, I thought that was kind of cool because it's not a car company. Yeah. Most car companies are just trying to sponsor you with parts instead exactly. of money. Exactly. You're not so. really going to get a big check out of them. Yeah. And, and yeah. If, if you do, it's going to be after a lot of work put in. You know, like yeah, you might yeah. have that better success reaching out outside of the car world. Yeah. I totally agree with that.